Welcome back to Maros Films. Today we are going on a deeper look of the Nanlite Power Tube 30C that I was using lately in a couple of commercials, video and photo shoots. Just like in every of my reviews, I first like to use the items for an extended period of time and then after that came back with an in-depth review and what I think about the products, in this case the Nanlite Pavotube 30C. And if you want to find out my other light reviews, there will be a link in the description so you can find out more what I'm using in my commercial YouTube production. Lately a lot of brands came out with similarly designed tubes and I got the chance to test a couple of them. And this is one of my favorite that we will dive in in an in-depth review. The main feature of this light is the RGB power of 60 watts. The PowerTube 30C has a built-in 32.5 watts double battery and it can be also powered with a dedicated power adapter that is included in the package. On-off switch on one part and on the other the control buttons and the knobs to control the light. In the package you will also get two handy steel ropes so you can hang your light whatever you like. You will get a handy carrying case that actually holds up to four power tubes. The clip with one quarter screw mounts so you can get really creative. You can control the power tube wirelessly but you have to get a dedicated controller to connect it with your app. More on it later on. The tube gets a bright visible OLED screen with all the info needed to control it. With the dedicated shortcut buttons you will be able to enter CCT mode, HSI mode, RGB and special effects or with the menu button select more options like checking the battery level, combine control when you link up more power tubes and more. On the back of the tube you'll find the menu and all the dedicated functions so you don't have to carry around the manual whatsoever. The upper knobs will allow you to adjust the intensity of the light, saturation or Kerlin value. Scroll to the menu settings and depending on your selected effect screen navigation. CCT 2700 kelvins all the way up to 6500 kelvins with dimming 0 to 100%. HSI full 360 degree scale with saturation and dimming. Special effects mode. There are really a ton of them and kind of standard nowadays with these tubes. From cup car, candlelight, storm effects and a bunch of others to get really creative. These tubes are really easy to hide in your filming scenario because they fit places where a normal LED panel wouldn't. I have used in various shoots and they worked perfectly. Just like a color key light for a microphone shoot where it blends into the scene without any problems. Backlight video scenario with the dancers where it was in full HSI mode giving additional color on the background. Photo lavalier shoot with added background color. Guitar solo play with power tube in the background. Dancers with two big power tubes 30Cs and some smaller tubes behind them. Kitchen rose tube light for a cooking scenario. A lot of scenarios so let me give you my verdict about this light. Firstly this battery is really strong and I was using it at around 10 to 30% power. No matter what I was able to film the whole day or the whole shoot lasting for 4 and 5 hours. If you put it in 100% power it will last you up to 1 to 1 and a half hours. More than you will ever need for kind of a half day usage and a kind of dedicated shoot that you are preparing for this light and for the scene that you are going. The shortcut buttons are great and I was really fast to setting up this light and other lights matching up the light source and the light temperature without any problems so thumbs up for the shortcut buttons. The carrying bag is a must for it and you will get it included so you can protect more when carrying around because this is plastic and you want to protect your tube light. One downside for the power tube 30C is that you can't control straight forward from your smartphone the tube. You have to get a dedicated controller and then link them up and control it with your smartphone. Well, I don't like things like that. They could have just included Bluetooth with a direct link to your smartphone and control it easily with a smartphone app and not a dedicated wireless controller to link your light 
and then after that link your smartphone to the controller and then to your light. It's kind of too much for me. The build quality is excellent and the control buttons are okay. In the next iteration it could be more intuitive. Final verdict. Excellent tube that will last the whole shoot with internal battery. No direct link smartphone connection. Well, I just don't care because I don't use anyways that function. Nevertheless, it will be here to stay for my next productions. There you go, a short insight of one of my tools that I use to create. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will be happy to answer to all of them. Until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon so you get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.